This is the Level Up Podcast. I am Justin Hortle, joined as always by the Triple OG, Widamu Mason. Mace, What's this good? is round 21 preview time. Uh, brother, we've got some big things coming up, which we'll get to. Um, probably a shortened show. A few topics yeah. that didn't interest me uh, this week. More probably, uh, what's the word? 360. Yeah, you know what I mean. Clubs just do in a bit of trauma. Do you I watch 360? Do you watch it? I watch a little bit. Yeah, I watch. I watch the clips on YouTube. So, I'll, for instance, I was on the way over um, yeah, before I picked you up. I was watching a bit of the the chat on the Roosters. Uh, the Tigers are in turmoil. Yeah. Uh, who else? What else is the chat? I watch, really? I watch Rand, you know Rand, Randell, Randell, yeah, Randell, and then he does that um, the 360 chat. Best. He's fucking all time. Hilarious. Shout out to Randell. Yeah. Remember Magic Round, big boy. <laughs> I actually, I actually ran in. We went at it. I actually ran into Randell. He's um, a classic, mate. I was. That's about the 360 I watch. Yeah, yeah. It's the be, it's the way better version. <laughs> love you, Braith. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I was doing the run home with Joel before I did, called the game at Origin, and he rolled in. And again, he's one of those guys. I said it before. It's like when we met him for the first time. I was like, I don't know if you're the full quid or not. <laughs> But if you're not, don't ever tell me. I, I just like he's never. I he wanted never, him to be the the character, but he was normal. Yeah. I'm like fuck, and I thought yeah. Red Dell, and he's like, hey, "How you going, Willie? How are you?" Man? I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> but he's a legend, dude. He plays Love the him. character so well. Oh, uh, good fella. Love what he does. Way better version of 360. Yeah. Um. But yeah, apart from that, not too many topics. So I loaded in a couple more YouTube questions. We've got round 21 preview, so we'll go through the games. Get probably a little bit more in depth. With all games, in particular the Warriors, we'll get to that. Plenty of the Warriors fans, it's Warriors like fans, not happy. Week, isn't it? Sort of like, especially after Origin, because it's, I, don't, I don't think people understand. Like, yeah. right? like it's so intense around Origin. Have a look at it. Like we were flat out for like seven weeks, seven or eight weeks, and then like you sort of enjoy these moments because all this is now is a build up into setting yourself up for the finals. And then now anything that you do, just say if you're a player, a bit of a warning. Don't do any, don't do anything outlandish because it'll be fucking front page. Well, especially if you're towards the bottom of the ladder, yeah. right? So yeah, big just, ones, a couple just of ones. Chill the fuck out. Let's get into. Well, we'll, we'll let's we'll mention that. So people weren't happy with the way Cheese was uh, chatting after the game to the Storm. Got no problem with it. Yeah, fill me in with that. So just, was he chatting to some of his ex teammates? That's yeah, it. It was Storm. So it was Munster, Hughes, and and, uh, and Harry. Well, he's won grand and finals with him. What's the big best deal? Best mate's been for a while. Yeah, see, nothing. I don't know, that's why I didn't want to talk about well, it. Well, this, this is Everything, what I'm saying. What so just is... say during Origin, that's not a story. Nobody gives a fuck. No. But because there's nothing, there's nothing happening now, that's a bit of a story. And the Roosters. That, and the Roosters and aren't the Roosters. going good. And he's not going good. So it's like, fuck. It's because it's the Roosters too. Yeah, man. They're such a they big club. Yeah. Four, they're sitting 14th at the moment, mate. Yeah, not good. Huh. Um, yeah, a lot of a few people that are out, heaps of Tigers chat. I will just say we've got a picture of Lee, what is his name, Hadjimentalis? Wow. I thought he was Inspector Gadget. That's an awful kit. That's the worst kit. Awful kit. I didn't know He who it should was. be sacked. He should be sacked for just wearing that kit. That was an interview on 360. <laughs> if I'm playing for that club, if I'm representing the Tigers on the field, we're doing it tough at the minute, mm. 80 minutes of footy, getting dusted. We're still, you know, a young team, young outside backs, experienced forward pack. And my CEO, what is the chairman of the chairman. board of directors? If he rocks up like that for any of you, I go, I'm out. Because you know what? That's a little bit of self-awareness, right? You know, you know exactly all the things that you alluded to then. We're coming last. We're getting smashed all over the papers. We're just we, – it's, it's a basket case at the moment. Just wear a normal You kit. look in the mirror and you think that's going to be okay? Well, you're a grown-ass <laughs> man. You go, this will take – no, you know, they won't talk about what I'm wearing. Yeah. That's all we've talked about. <laughs> that's all 360s talk. Everyone's taking the piss out of him. And then that gives them another chance to take the piss out of the Tigers. So it's like they're going, and it, start, it rots at the fish, rots at the top. Yeah. yeah, He's at the top. So they're going to look at him and it's just like, dude, yeah, that one moment, just pick a normal fucking suit. I didn't even watch the clip. I didn't even know, but I'm just saying. Like, I've just was, seen the, the – If I'm his boss, I'm just like, mate, that is one of the worst choices you've ever made. He you is the f- boss, isn't he? Who's above him? Is well, he, is, is, is like he the, the chairman? He's the, the board of directors, so yeah. no one tells him what to do, obviously. Mm. <laughs> Because otherwise you're like – you're getting bored into the fucking – you're getting yeah. bored in. Yeah. You know what, what about I – mean? so, I think the, it's hilarious going I – I don't hate whether he looks like, but it's yeah, like yeah. of all the outfits you could have chose to wear if in it, this situation. You wear that shit when you win a grand final. 
Or, That's Mad Monday kit. Or if he's in the birdcage with us at the end of the year down in Melbourne, where the fuck six again. Yes. Not when you come at last, you're getting beat from pillar to post all year. They put you on 360. You've got Tigers memorabilia in the fucking, background, merchandise. You're, you're trying to sell merch. You're trying to sell – what else? <laughs> Snake oil salesman. <laughs> fuck. Um, I thought it was just unusual for him to uh, to wear that attire. <clears throat> I don't I've, – I've no problem I, with I don't mind. Wearing. I don't it's, mind the attire. It's, it's the – it's the – it's a situation the context. he's in. Yep. The context. Put yep. it all in context, t- context and go, yeah. mate, let's not read the room. dress like Yeah, read the room. <laughs> mate, read the room. Yeah. And no one's – yeah, you can't <laughs> you read didn't. it when you're the chairman because no one – they've got to vote him out for that alone. So That's there's it. obviously I've no one like yep. checking him going, hey, like – you don't look that good. We hired – well, another part of the week is he hired a recruitment manager that the coach and assistant coach didn't know about, so – I didn't know that they. He does whatever he wants, whatever he wants. So he's just, he's okay. got his own fucking podcast too, I think. This bloke? Yeah. Or is it Pasco? Maybe Pasco. I think. I think is it Pasco. Pasco? That's even worse. But I don't understand that. Right? Pasco's a giggle too. Is it? This whole fucking it's thing's a pretty a bit funny of a club. Yeah. <laughs> he's a bit the two characters. Yeah. They're the ones that run the club. They want to be. They want to be seen in the fucking uh, on TV doing three hundred and sixty interviews and on podcasts. Just run the club properly. It, you know what's funny? The, the Remember at the start of the year when the Blue Wiggle wanted to buy the Tigers? Mm. It would probably be less theatric mm. and <laughs> there'd be less carry on with the You know, you know what's fucked the up? The Wiggles taking over. joking about the Tigers, right? <laughs> with their chairman and their CEO. Yeah. Like just thinking it's a bit of a, yeah. a sideshow, right? Mickey Mouse and that's not, it's not good, is it? No, nah, it's not. Like if you're a player there, like you're if like you're a, 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 a happy Coruscant and you're a fan or yeah. a Bateman and Papa Litty, you're like, I want to fucking win. Hmm. I don't want them talking about what my chairman is wearing on a 360 interview. <laughs> Do you know What's what I mean? And that's what, and that's what, and that's what they're talking about. Yeah. We're not talking about wins or losses. We're just talking about his outfit, yeah. which is quite sad. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get on to the show. Preview on round 21. Make sure you go and like and subscribe. We are at – Lukey has put it down to a T. He's got all the Sonya data. 13,138 <laughs> 13, subscriptions, Mace. Wow. Flying. We want to chase that 20K. We will get there yeah. by the end of the season. I said finals, but maybe we're going to need the GF because people are going to get pumped when we get to the finals. Yeah. And we've got some big appearances coming up at the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, I, I reckon we'll get a few. Yeah. So a few thousand from our little trip. Yep. Speaking of trips, yeah. let's get into our YouTube right. questions. So listeners were furious when we didn't give the Warriors their flowers. We only gave them minutes. So for people that didn't know, our um, Jared Warrior hard drive, it was <laughs> had 10 minutes to go. So we're filming here. Lukey gets up in the back and he's like, looks at us. He sends us a text, 10 minutes. We only mm. got 10 minutes left. So we had, still had three, three or four teams break down. One of those were the Warriors. Um, oh, we rushed through, didn't we? We rushed through. So j- I'll write, do you want me, we'll go to some of the notes. Do you remember the game enough, no, I mate? do, yeah. yeah. So, I, so I'll go to some of the notes that I had on those games. Um, the Dolphins and Panthers as well and the Eels and Titans and that, but the Warriors fans were furious, mate. So let's mm. – so I don't know if – I can't remember what exactly what I mentioned, but well, – I just thought – we both said well, Egan, Egan's a rock star, right? Yes. I think he hit, it all comes off him and you've got Fanua Blake. Is he a future rep player? Got, Wade he, Egan? I think he'll be pushing for next year. Yep. Like I think when Appy and Cookie are done – I'm not sure how many years. I mean, Cook's probably got maybe one year left in him. They'd both be around mid, uh, low to mid thirties. You're talking Robson. Are they 32s, 33s, You reckon? I know, Cookie, I know Cookie? Cookie is. Yeah, I know Cookie. Because Cookie, Cookie while, was a late man. bloomer too. Yeah. So then you got Robson, and then you probably got that um, Brayley, Brayley, and Kenny, Mitch Kenny. Ooh. So there's the three there. Yeah, they need to and, separate wait, themselves. Egan wouldn't look out of out of part there. He's he's been playing. He's been playing outstanding football. Do you agree on this? I'd prefer to have. Either Mitch Kenny and Robson, one of them two, mm. with a Braley or Egan. Yeah, I need, yeah. you know what well, I mean. You to, you Do you think to... Mitch Kenny and Robson would work well together? Two no, like they're very similar, similar players. They're similar you think? players. They both and Braley and, and Egan the same. Yeah, I'd Smaller, have like a, an e- Egan and Kenny would work. Yeah, yeah, you know, you'd have to start, but I think Robson will start next year. I think Robson's a lot Robson moving forward. and then like yeah. Robson and Egan would work good. Yeah, because Egan comes on, he changes the tempo of the game, like Cook and Appy. You know, like Harry Grant and Ben Hunt, you've got to have those style of play. You can't have one exactly the same as the other. Yeah. Someone's going to need to come on, run the ruck, and just like just run, attack, hit hard. So the, we've got some good hookers. Mm. I, was still, I, was, I was a bit worried a couple of years ago when Cook was our number nine and no one was really pushing him. Mm. Um, you know, Appy just come out of – didn't come out of nowhere, but really solidified himself as probably the best nine in the world last year. Yep, I agree. Um, but Egan, back to the Warriors. Oh, Harry. You forgot um, about Harry. Yeah, Harry Grant. Yeah, yeah. far out. He's, he's out. Harry had a bit of a down – 
Yeah, Cookie, I mean, Uppy would have had a better year than um, Harry, actually. Yeah, last year. No, last he year he did. Yeah, he got yep. um, Dally M9 of the year. Yeah. Harry's had a good year awards. this year for sure. Um, but, like, for Noah Blake, like, mm. he's outstanding. But he's combination. And then, like, Torhu Harris. Um, and then you've got that Rocco Berry who was hitting the mad holes on the outside. He's mad. Inside, like, well, Talakai's been dropped Dallin, from it. You know Matty I mean? Moylan's like, been dropped. Yeah. Um, Teague Wilton did his knee right at the start yeah, of the game. That didn't help. I like that Teague Wilton. I think he's Same. got a bit of a future. Uh, but the man, Warriors – They just ran harder and they tackled harder and they just – they looked fucking dangerous, man. They, well, they had seven different try scorers, Mace. Yeah. So they're scoring all over the field in different places mm. through the middle. I think um, – I've seen a clip where Gal – Gal was um, talking about them being – like, uh, what's what did he say? They were like, they're safe, they're complete, and they're not like, not a chance in their arm. Not, yeah, it's but it's the he was completely off with it. I know, I don't know what he's the last. I feel like the last three or four games, maybe they've scored like forty points. Because yeah, I called it. I called the game. No, the game before I called, they tailed up the dragons. They tailed up the sharks. They've tailed up. Who else have they tailed up? Anyway, mm. but yeah, they've been on. Yeah, the Raiders they play like a good four brand or five of football. weeks ago. Yeah, because what we what, what you want to do because everyone's Parramatta. used, to, yeah, everyone's used the to the way the Warriors play, right? Pretty yeah. flamboyant, offloads everywhere. Pretty inconsistent. They're not now, even really offloads. Bro. Now they're consistent yeah. as hell. So you, yeah. you, as I said, like about a month ago, I'm not scared anymore. I'm going to back the Warriors with some faith mm. that they can come over here, get the job done. Before it's just like, oh, you don't know what Warriors you're going to get. Yeah, and that was that. That was the old sort of knock on them. Now yeah. it's like, fuck, you're going to get consistent. Well, Consistency, man. That's what you want. Well, I think what Gal's alluding to is they're completing really high. Yeah. But well, that doesn't mean they're not playing footy. They're just not doing the the, the dumb offloads of years past. That's what I mean. Like they're playing. They're not playing Warriors traditional yeah, football, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. just like fucking out out the back, out the back. Yeah. Not completing, which is hard you know to defend I mean? when which it hits because they've they've evolved yeah. as a team and as a club, and they can't. You can't. You can't win games with sixty percent completion. No. You know, so they're not dumb and they're well coached over there and they've got a really well balanced side. Their back five are a bunch of animals. Their back row is unbelievable. They're all they've got about 19, 20 players, which which are all first graders. Yes. They're going for it. They haven't got like a starting 13 and then like the, your bench is a little bit weak. They've got a 17. They're going at it. And I would say the greatest compliment to Webster as well is that you know how sometimes, for instance, a team can go well when a player goes from you know, a six, six to like a, a, a eight or nine. Mm. You know, in a season, I'd say the biggest compliment is that every single player has just gone up yeah. like a, a point or two. Like, might have been playing like a five last year, now playing like a seven. Well, look at that Metcalf. Yeah, he's playing reserve grade. Yeah, he hasn't played first grade. He's carving up first grade. He's doing playing well. Isn't he's he? fucking killing it, man. Rocco I Berry. Think the jury's still out on him though. Yeah, I it will be. It will still, be. I'm, hey, hey yeah. you get a, You know what I'm like? You gotta give me three years. Yeah, and give me fucking three games. Yeah, three years, and then I'll fucking then I'll judge how good you're gonna be. Yeah. Um, Rocco Berry. Where did that kid come from? I know he's um, been around for a couple of years. I think he's got a union background. Yeah, Jacko was really high on him back <laughs> in the day. Um, I think he's been he hit in the scene a couple of years ago. Did he get injured? Yes. Did he come like? Um, well, no, it just hasn't cemented his spot. Uh, he's been battling feet, out uh, Pompey. Uh, I like that uh, Viliami Vilea too. Yeah, I think he's a real good uh, young player that they've got coming through. Um, just the nature of what was happening for the Warriors. Heaps inconsistent. Players were getting dropped in and out. Um, I think he was injured yeah. for a bit. Uh, well, he looks like he's year. on because it wasn't yeah. just that try that he scored on the inside of Talakai. He's, good, wasn't he's bashing he? blokes and he's coming <clears> out, play twos and threes and helping his um, helping his big boys. Then you got Montoya, then you got um, Selesniak, uh, Charles Nickel, Clogstad, Jackson Ford. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're he's talking about really one good. of the most, I reckon, one of the well balanced sides in the in the comp. I yep. think when you look at it all. Yeah. Who was the other prop? You got Barnett doing all these dirty little things. There Not dirty as saying dirty play, but like all the cleanup work, making he's probably involved in about 40 tackles, does all the hard hit ups. Fanul Blake gets on the back of that, offloads. Egan just runs, takes short sides. Sean Johnson, Sean Johnson just controls the shit. Mm. It's beautiful to career, watch. Career best form, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. It's the best I've ever seen, Shawnee. Uh, Rocco Berry is the son of former All Black Marty Berry. Okay. So. Anyway. Luki did his research. There you go, Warriors fans. I'm not sure how much we can give. There you go. Was that enough, Warriors fans? And, and that's not Well, if you up. want some more for us, you're going to get some. Mm. Um, little special announcement. What are we, we doing? We're coming over to New Zealand, Mace. Ah, <laughs> yes. We've got a strong following over there for New Zealand, obviously, with the bell, all the what messages round? we what got round? there. Round 23 or 4, I believe Shit. it is. Let me have a look. When they play Manly. All right. 
Warriors coming Manly. over. Warriors Manly was sorted Dan, with our good mate. Daniel Vintage. Anderson Cl- uh, Cup, is yes, it? Yes, it like is. That? Confirm that, Lukey, please, with us. Um, the details around uh, Daniel Anderson, who it was uh, – renamed You've renamed the stadium. On, and they're going to announce it on that. No, it's announced. It's announced. Oh, awesome. Uh, All right. Daniel Anderson was uh he gave me my first ever jersey. Did he really? Yeah, he was my de- my debut coach. So shout out to Endo. It's good to see you know I've seen some stuff with him over the past couple of weeks in particular. Yeah. Um, obviously a horrific injury that he's gone through and, and the Terrible. circumstances, but good to see he's still got his uh, sense of humor. I actually really got around uh, got along with Endo. He's a different cat, like yeah. most cats. He's a Brian coaches. Smith tree, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he, the most coaches like he's one of those guys. He's um, quirky. You got to be a bit quirky, man. Yeah, to man. Be, I mean. To be a to be a head coach, but um, yeah, we're coming over. So I uh, got an episode lined up with a couple of Warriors boys. Going to keep that, but they're big dogs. I mm-hmm. only get big dogs. I only got the big. Dogs I only get it. big dogs and give me par. So um, yeah, what we've got an episode. Um, I'm trying to line up two episodes. Yeah, um, trying to line up some ABs. So I, listen, I, I just I just listen to Hozzy organizes everything. Yeah, <laughs> the so. schedule, the itinerary, <laughs> the itinerary. <laughs> yeah, the itinerary set. So um, I've reached out to some golf courses already. I've reached out to a couple of All Blacks. Could be um, yes. A nice little window there before they start getting into their Rugby World Cup preparation. Love that so chat very with the ABs. Yeah. Nothing uh, to respect for that. Yeah, for sure. And I've, look, there are a couple that are they're in Auckland, but yeah, there are a couple of others that through over the years started yeah. to build a relationship through just social media. So hopefully we can knock that off. That's a that's a fit more of a fifty fifty prospect at this stage. Uh, what else are we going to do? Oh, we're attending the game, obviously. Yeah. Manly, um, um, which is my ex club, our ex club, yeah. where we told the the grouse Jimmy Viewer story. <laughs> Uh, and I think we're going to be doing something in and around with uh, the Warriors uh, podcast uh, crew. So Jacko obviously yeah. does that. So right. we, we'll stop by and have a. We're like, an open book. We've got a few things locked yeah. in, but you know we'll be. Yeah, going there, are, over there. There, there are a couple more days. So if you're over there, if you, you see this, you think there might be opportunities, reach yeah. out to me on my socials, all of yeah. network, and we'll go the DMs. From Hit us in the DMs. Don't do Mason's because he won't reply, but I will. <laughs> 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 all right, let's get into it. Hey lads, have been listeners since the scope started love the potty something i'm always interested in hearing is who was the best player you played with mm. or against as a junior that never made oh. it to the nrl and why quite a big one. Oh, my yeah. my one's pretty automatic yeah go on so i had a guy called um called ben harden um he was a halfback that played against me in juniors all the way through end up becoming you know as you get a little bit yeah. older the teams that you had rivals with mm-hmm. um and then he played penrith junior development like he was he would have been the first guy picked for all the rep teams from like 13s, 14s, 15s, Harold Matz, SG Ball. Yep. And he just fucking did his ACL like three or four different times. Like yeah, he wow. just, yeah. He just, by the time he got to 20s, he was touted as like for our age, he's the best halfback. And Penrith were viewing him as the replacement for Craig Gower all the way back yeah. in those days. What was his name? Name's Ben Harden. Ben he's Harden. now assistant coach at Penrith. Uh, in some form, he's been okay. doing junior development out there for years. Um, he sort of come through the scene, hit the scene. He helped out my dad a lot um, when my dad was coaching. Vi- like they helped each other out yeah. heaps. Um, ben Harden, he was he was a player. Man. Really so anyone thinking about this like, as as you're yeah. talking, I'm just trying to think. Right, you would have a few guys like, in Toronto man, West like, and yeah, like, I'm just trying to think. Not that many. Like none of my mates played. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean? Like I wasn't. Like I didn't go to like a rugby league school. It yeah. wasn't any of that. I was the only rugby league player that played in like in Toronto High. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It wasn't. It wasn't that. Sort what about of club footy? Did you what club footy? Club footy. I played for the Macquarie Scorpions. There yeah. was like, no one's come from that club. Yeah, I swear, apart from me. Yeah, they don't, and they don't and they don't really give a shit either. <laughs> It should be a fucking statue of me, or the fucking ground should be called fucking Billy Mason Stadium. Yeah, fucking oh, not even that. They don't care. So yeah. I'm just like, fuck it. At least the canine or something. Yeah, it's something. just the grandstand will do. Jeez. Um. So nothing in Toronto. No one likes. No one in me, Toronto. Can, I want to look. There might up. be some young kids coming through now, but like, what's the name of the Macquarie? What? Macquarie Scorpions. Macquarie. I was a Toronto West boy, so yeah. I'm gonna have to go to the Bulldogs. Like when I got to the Bulldogs, the amount of talent that I did play with coming through Flag and everything. There's a kid called Billy Nowini. Okay. So anyone who I remember that name. Yeah. Anyone who knows and has seen talent, I think he's been like he was one of the best touch football players in New Zealand, right? Yep. So we brought him over, and I've never seen a kid train like this. And I'm like, I'm not sure for whether whether it was just like. It was his union background, a fitness thing. It just didn't really suit how rugby league was was played. Sometimes you just got to get your break, right? Yeah, yeah. He just um, there was a couple of little injuries here and there. 
and it sort of stunted his sort of stunted, stunted his growth. Um, and he just didn't get there. Mm. But fucking hell, like some games, some name. shit that I saw at training, man. I've What's never his name? seen Billy Nowini. Yeah, yeah. Heap, I reckon a heap of New yeah. Zealand fans would know. I remember because I think I might have played Maori football against. And he him was that highly, time. highly recruited. Yeah. So talent wise, I've fucking. We're just sitting down. This guy's going to be a freak. This is around about like two thousand and maybe two or three or something like that. Yep. Because I'm pretty sure Sonny and all that was in our side already. And yeah. um, maybe even a little bit later, but he had talent, man. And I I'm remember. just like, I reckon I've played against him. I've yeah, played I against him in the junior Moldy uh, so tournament. Yeah, shout style. out to Billy, but he, he just, a couple of little things, a couple of little injuries at the wrong time. It's all about timing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it just, and we had some pretty good halves back then too. Yeah. You know, like JT was still floating around and with Brent Sherwin and Brayton I thought, he was a, was, I thought he was a hooker. Was he not a nah, hooker? We, no, we, we didn't know what position yeah. he was going to be as well. So we're like, is he a half? Is he like structured enough? Can he play? Does he play fullback? Like he just come over to us as just this bang talent. Yeah. Step off both feet, left to right, pass and kick. Just the fucking skill set yep. was here. So yeah, Billy, that's my man. Um, fuck yeah, they don't even have a list. So like, it's very hard to find. Like it's got the. I could go on to the. Like you know, if just say if you type in, for instance, my like I went up. My first club was St. Clair Comets. Yeah. We've got a list of like our best 17 that have played for NRL. Shit, There's like, I don't, they've got, I've got it. Toronto the, Scorpions do not, they don't care. Yeah. Not about me anyway. <laughs> Macquarie Scorpions, reach out to us. We've got to find yeah. a way. Let's get something. We've got a fucking something. honor OG. And if you if do. If Michael Wayman's got a fucking statue. If Mick Wayman get a statue, <laughs> did he? <laughs> Only joking. Um, Seriously, I know But where, but, we, but where, where's, where, you know. Toronto where, West. What, Mick Wayman? No, no, no. Oh. He's like, he's <laughs> I thought he got Nick. fucking no, a statue no. over you. <laughs> no. And, he's, and Wayman's he's, a dog he's too. Down there. He's down there near Wayman's Canberra. a dog. Don't I get me wrong. Wayman, yeah. yeah, don't get me wrong. That's not disrespectful, but yeah, I can't find anything. No. Maybe the punters will um, have a look for us. Let us know. Punters, do your research for us. Macquarie Scorpions, who yeah. outside of Mace, how many NRL players have played come from Macquarie Scorpions? Because I, I can't find I'm it. I'm just going to go with just me. I'm not even That's lying. crazy. It's crazy, eh? Um, all right, here we go. I thought I had three. I must have forgot to put one in. Where did I put it? Or did I put it somewhere else? No. All right. Let's get to this one anyway. Boys, I love the potty. You're killing it. I'm a Broncos and Queensland supporter. I'm just wondering what's your take on the 2023 Broncos compared mm. to the 2020 Broncos. Pretty much the same roster except for Mace's favorite full fullback, Walshie. Love those eyes. I don't think we will fall off and having beat Panthers in round one gives us some confidence with – them being the team to beat. Cheers, boys. Keep it up. Alex Wright, 1808. And mm. apologies for the question before. It was Geno 96. Geno 96. You know, this time last year, yeah. they were fourth. Yeah. And they fell right off and come yeah. ninth. So what's different about this team? Because I think I said it in the review mm. when the way and the, the manner in which they, they beat you showed me that they've learned yeah, a lot from last year. Have. What's the difference for you? Well, I just think it's a mindset, right? I reckon they would have been waiting for a whole year. To get into this position now, I'm not sure if Kevy would be speaking about it. I'm not sure. I think just mentally, every single player knows because it's it's well documented as well. Yeah. It's like quite embarrassing. This is, this is the position that you guys are in last year. Same position. I think they're equal first or second now, but they were top four and they let it slip. So whoever's playing them this week are going to get pumped. No, they've got a good one. They're playing South. It's a well, good game. I think. Well, <laughs> Yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm just saying. I just think it'd be a, a bit of a statement game and a bit of a like memory bank going. We're not slipping, and a bit of a message to everyone going. We're not. We are not letting go this year. South bullied them last time they played at Suncorp. Yeah, remember? I know. I know. This, this is the perfect opportunity. No Payne Haas. No Ezra Mam. Because now have a look. Like just say if you're going to go into this week. Obviously, South has had the wood on them. Mm. And do they get anyone back? Do they get a Payne Haas back? Yeah, pa everyone's back. Walshie, every everyone's, everyone's back. back. We'll full get to the team. Full deck of cards, right? Full deck. Basically, this is what you want. Oh, sorry. No jersey flagler still, I believe. Let me look at it now. I'll get it up for you. No jersey flagler. He's still down. He's still, yeah, he's still coming back. And I believe Jordan Ricky is still coming back too. Let okay. me have a look. Still. Um, yeah, but Ezra Mam and that compared to, um, yeah, why can't I get the list up there? That's all right. I'll, That's I'll, right. I'll find because that. Because I had later. the young kid play. It's but Reese Walsh is back, Carrigan's back, yeah. and Payne Haas is back from That's the team it. that didn't play last week against you. Yeah, I think they'll be they'll be start they'll be in the back of their heads. Yep. And, I'll, just, I'll, and what and, and you, what you don't want is getting beat and it will fuck with your head so bad. Yep. I reckon not too much, but you know you start that doubt. Imagine if they lose if they imagine if they lose two in a row from here. So a couple of things, right? Ooh. 
last year they lose Paddy Carrigan for five weeks for the hip drop. Yep. That was crucial. You mentioned him before. Reese Walsh, you can't deny the impact that he's had on that team. No. He's a Queensland fullback. And for it's me, if I world. picked an Australian team today, I think I picked Teddy when we spoke about it a couple of weeks ago. I went back, had a thought of it, have had a think about the episode and went, nah, fucking, I'm picking Walsh. Yeah. I'm picking Walsh. So his, a lot of people would. Yeah, I think they would. So I'm only, just, I'm only just going off like just being how they select and shit like that. Yeah. You're 100% picking Reese Walsh. Mm. Especially if he continues the form yeah. now. A couple of little misdemeanors, talked a little bit of shit, got suspended. Let's see how he bounces back. And I'm one guy I'm – See, in in the past, we've been I've been critical more more so than you of yeah. Kevy and his coaching. One thing, a move that I really liked was them picking up Lee Breeze. I always said that Kevy's. Ah, I've sort of uh, had my question marks on Kevy's coaching, but one of the best things, and I think we spoke about this in the season preview, is making sure you surround yourselves mm. with people that can make you better. And for those who don't know who Lee Breeze is, he's a fucking 500 gamer, guns, proper OG from, the, from yeah. the Warrington. And if you don't watch Super League, so basically I'll give you a rundown about how a training session goes over at Super League when you're over there. You you try a new play every week. Yep. So like, you know, once you get to train and they're like, oh, I've seen this play up in the NRL, I've seen this in the rugby or whatever. Coaches come with all these creative ideas yep, over there. I love that. It's fr open footy over there in the Super League. It leads to a lot of errors and, you know, you don't get it wrong and it's inconsistent. And so, but if you if you embrace like or at least work on some things, I think that's what's happening at every the Broncos. Every place play, that's their mentality. Did you see the shapes? Jimmy Smith um, – brought this up to me i missed it live they had that shape they set against you guys where they set three players all the way on the sideline tristan sailor comes sweeping late and he almost just didn't square up enough and it didn't lead to anything it looked good but it did look silky yeah. right and jimmy and jimmy brought up a perfect point if that's walsh, Reece walsh yeah. squares we're, up we're either done. plays game over they score yeah. like they score against you 100 percent. so um been speaking. I know a little bit about you know my episode with um, with Ren and and Walshy that they spoke highly of him. I think um, he's been a great addition. Then you've yeah. got guys like hard workers, Matty Ballin. And he would come. Good. Matty Ballin's a, a different sort of coach. Matty's um, less no nonsense sort of guy. Like Matty's, uh, you know, a, an example for Matty Ballin. I, I think he'd be the sort of guy that would get in and train with him a lot. He'd be and, helping Walters out, yeah, but he would be because Walters is not a natural nine. No, he's not. He's much improved, isn't he? Yeah. And and Maddie's now best work like was it. his service. Yep. So um, props to Kevy, who I've been critical of in the past for surrounding himself with a better – Yeah, it was, it was the boys' club, wasn't it? A little it's bit, just yeah. Just your mates. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's a fair – it's a great job. Oh, but you need the assistant best. coaches. Like, they work their asses off, man. The good ones Steve do. Steve Turner, Mick Potter. Yeah. Fucking hell. Chad Randall. Like, the amount of video and that that they're cutting. Marco Mealy, the big ogre, he works his ass off, mate. He's one undercover person that just works his ass off, does so much for reserve grade, so much for first grade. I wouldn't be um, – I wouldn't see. I wouldn't be surprised if I see him around like somewhere like Ooh. with New South Wales coaching. Yeah, sorry, mate. We just got some breaking news. Lucky just sent me this. Just come through on the we'll laptop. Get back to that. Um, yeah, finish it off actually. So with like, Ogre, I yeah. just think Ogre is one of those brains. He's been in the coaching system for about six years. Yeah, I mean, he does about six or seven hours of video cutting video. Like he's trying to teach me how to cut video. I'm like, oh, mate. Yeah, it's not. Surely the coaches like they do more than fucking cut video. Yeah. He goes, most of it's like that. And went. Fucking hell. But his brain and the way he gets on along with players, he's been in the pathways for ages for New South Wales. He's That's been massive. doing a lot. A lot of things under under the, you know. I'm really big on under that. The radar, the under the radar. Under the radar. He's come through. He's earned his fucking stripes as a coach. And I wouldn't be surprised because he's always been a part of our – Freddie's always wanted him a part of Origin. Mm. He's just been busy with club football. Yeah, okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's uh, they throw the big ogre's name around there. Yeah. You know who reminds me of um, the same progression coming through? Rocket Rod, Todd Payton, worked yeah. with the under twenties, um, developed yeah. a relationship with uh, a but few Oga, guys. Oga loves that, like just working development with the with the younger pathways, 18, 19, and just watching them come through the grades and play first grade. He I really think that would that. be super rewarding. To, mm. to Way more coach, rewarding to coach that level. Um, and I have that same sort of mentality because I just mean Oga just hang out all the time. Oh, nicknames, yeah, big one. Is that did you put that in there, Lukey? So one thing I'm going to be try to be really um, better at, and this is a perfect example of it, nicknames. So Ogre. Marco oh, Milley. Oh, shit, yeah. Marco Look, Milley. I said this in the comments as well. Like someone – I replied to someone just before, um, you know, how many times would you call him Mark? 
and oh, really? Never. I just called him. You know what I mean? So time. this is this is why we struggle with it sometimes. Years. But it like I can understand people listening in. Like we've got a, a you know a whole heap of new subscribers. Yes. So we've forgetting. got to be better at it. So when you say Marco oh, Mealy, so Marco the great, Marco Mealy, one of the best props to play with, one of the smartest brains, <clears> one <throat> of the yep. best blokes. I just think he's a he's an addition. You know, like Gus went out and scouted. Ogre, Marco yep. Mealy, to come to the Bulldogs because he, he knows we need that in pathways. Yeah. So Mark and myself, I'm not calling him fucking Mark, you know Mark is now. Ogre and myself, we just love doing that, working with the younger kids and watching them develop. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to I'd do just say with, like with that, Origin, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see the that big head of his on the sideline somewhere. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. Sooner rather than later. I'm here for it. I'm all with you. All right, here we go. The big news, breaking news, signed. West Tigers, they've got their guys. Uh, Latu and Samuel Finu. Oh. They got the young guns from Manly. Both nice. of them. Yeah. I'm actually I'm I'm pumped these two kids are gonna head over and um it's a good opportunity. I can sort of see it, like I said. Um I've compared Katoa and Amone before. Yeah. I think, you know, Finu, they're all three young uh Tongan halves, playmakers. Um they're similar they've got, players, they've, huh? They've got very they're very similar. Like I've watched enough footy now of them to see in particular Latu where strong ball runners, um, 90, 95 kilos. Defensively, if someone, you know, squares them. You know who they remind me of actually? A little bit like Benny ben Roberts. Roberts. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, we're talking about Benny yes. Roberts today where um, there are so many like skill set that Benny had yeah. was unbelievable. It was just more probably consistency, mm. right? And, yeah. and developing his game and probably never really becoming a proper game manager. Mm. But if shout out to Benny Roberts. If, yeah. you, if you don't know who Benny Roberts is, is high. he's doing some great work footy coaching now. High. Really good footy IQ. Um, NRL mentor. Yeah, Give NRL mentor. If you're up in Give Queensland, get, on to, get, get with him. If you're a young aspiring young NRL player or yeah. want to play NRL, you need that next level because you're not getting that coaching at a club level. You know, these are the, like there's a lot of parents like with their kids who are 14, 15. It's such an important thing. If you've got a guy like Ben Roberts who's had all that experience, you'd be taking him to the, all these those those sort of people. Well, you know what? When we think about NFL, right, Mace, we watch NFL. How yeah. much? How many like Instagrammers or uh, players do we watch that come through over there that have uh, experienced vets or quarterback yeah. coaches that help you them develop? That. I this is, I reckon that is going to be the next stage of NRL development is mm. ex-players like Benny doing a great yeah. job. Individ be more individual. Individual. Individual, individual stuff coaching. Because like <clears throat> I was doing a little bit and it was fucking draining because you're coaching just younger kids who have, they have dreams to be an NRL player. Yeah. They don't have the, the skill set. They just have – I said all you – I was just real honest with him. I yeah. said, "All you see is the end, the end game. Mm. You want that? You like the idea of being an NRL player because yeah. it looks cool." I said, "Fuck, mate. Is, is, is that's is why there's fucking hardly any of us that make it that far. You've got so to have you a certain amount of real, patience. Yeah, and you've got to be cut from a different cloth. Mm. Yeah, but Benny's doing it. Benny's, Benny's doing, doing a great it. job. Anyway, he reminds me a lot. Mm. Even though he's some on um, all three boys of Tongan that I mentioned, I believe. Yeah, Katoa, Yep, Finu. Uh, yeah, and then Samuela." I was disappointed, you know. I'm disappointed both these guys are leaving Manly because um, I remember um, Chez, Daly Chair Evans, a good friend of mine, uh, was talking about Latu a couple of years ago and they had high expectations for him. So, I what um, happened. I just think it comes down to um, you look at the end of the day, Chez would be a big part of that. I, rec I envisioned. I believe that Manly probably envisioned Ches would he fall retired off. by now. Yeah, not not, not even retired. retired. Not as dominant. Not yeah. as dominant. He's killing it. Queensland yeah. captain. Uh, he would have been the next to fall in line for Ches. So they gave him a really big deal, and it was through Desi. Um, and then you got the emergence of Shuey, who at the time was playing back row. Yes. Uh, outside of Foz and playing really good, and now he's moved into the six jersey. And then obviously they just brought Luke Brooks. So. Uh, Scott Fulton got much to do with that? I, I dare say so. Because yeah. he would have bought him, he would have recruited both those kids. I dare say so, yeah. Because so, I think they, they've done a lot of work out in the Black Hopefully, Town, he just, hopefully just, he told Southwest. Benji that he got him. We'd well, like to think so. <laughs> well, they must have had the, got the tick of approval on this while this has all been yeah. going on. So. It's good buys, but. Yeah, I think Benji was pretty keen on these two as well. From That was the mail. So that's one thing they've agreed on agreed upon anyway. Lee Hadjimantelis' kit. I'm sure they didn't agree upon that. Uh, anything <laughs> no, else to move upon on? That apart from, from him, um, we also just want to say um, I had a punter reach out to me and thank me for put, yes for putting him onto the passion fruit cheesecake mousse. Bars. I sent that to Greg. Yeah, it's just like double. Did hands you send up. it? Did yeah, you send I it through him? Is it in our group? I'll get. I'll, I'll, yeah. That's where I put it, wasn't it? Here we go. This is from a punter. 
Grateful as fuck to Triple OG and Skip for the recommendations. These are a daily accessory in the Smoko bag. So these ones aren't the passion fruit ones. He's got the strawberries and cream. cream yeah, they are a delicious guilt-free snack or dessert that is high in protein, low in carbon sugar with three grams of collagen per bar, naturally sweetened. BSC mousse bars are currently available in Woolworths, Chemist Warehouse, online at bodyscience.com.au and in independent supplement retailers. It's always nice – like, you know, when you have a sponsor or, mm. you know, partners like we do with BSC and Tab, you know, either, you know, they get a winner, you know, they follow, you know, if you've been following us in yeah. the Levels Punters Club, the Best Friends channel on the Tab app, then you know Skip's been having a good couple of days, a uh, good couple He's of weeks. It. Starting to get real. I'm really starting to hit form. I'm starting to get into form. Imagine form. if you told them what you were punting on, you, yourself. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be making thousands yeah well, the, sometimes the, the punters can throw me off a little bit too so <laughs> i'm uh, I've, I've always said if, if a lot of a lot of gamblers and punters will know it's very superstitious so you know back in the day the old go down the really? pub get your old tab ticket i Excuse, to, tell me some stories I, about I, that I, I, are you superstitious about gambling yeah yeah you almost it's, you don't want someone to death ride you right, right. so like if you know you go for instance, saying, yeah, what are you on? You know, you I'm a Kobe Diva, you know, and and you just throw a fakie out there because you're riding something else, or you just don't want them. <laughs> you just think, especially if you think they've got bad energy. Punters yeah. will know. Ex- okay. Mate, you're not okay. a punter. Yeah, punters will know exactly what I'm talking about, and they'll know exactly who the guys are. So there's a guy always. There's a guy might be sitting on your right. You, as soon as you see him walking, you're just like, ooh, calm the coolers. Energy goes down. No one's going to win. Sometimes I just bail, go find it. My, <laughs> back back in the day, I used to go to the Blue Cattle Dog uh, yeah. tab. That was my fucking go-to um, from when I was like 18 and above uh, all the way until – fuck. Wow. Like all you'd, my mates. So you'd sense his energy go like, he's off. He's ruining the whole day. I, he was – I'd considered him a cooler. So if I'd seen this guy, I won't say his name. and he's, yeah. he's a mate of ours. Sort of like a mate, an acquaintance. We used to see all the pub all the time. You know, one of those, he's a bit like Gil yeah. from fucking The Simpsons. Oh, he's down and he's like, oh, fuck, no, Justin. Oh, yeah. Just say so you got 10 for me. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Like, oh, you know, I'd be, because KFC was right next to it. So I'd be eating some fucking chicken as well. <laughs> and some KFC chicken. He would come over and go, Just say, so can I have like a, can I have a, a drumstick? You're like, fucking, you know, he's yeah, always just, asking for yeah, something. Yeah, just, just, just always ask. Go get a beer. Just always up. asking for something, you know? And you just, you, 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 you a palm away from those sorts of guys. So, um, but back to the BSC one. A little bit off <laughs> I tangent. It. I love it when the punters are getting behind it and um, and getting the getting behind the body science supplements yeah. because look, yeah, the real deal. Um, that was a big part of when I started Levels Network. Yeah, I always just wanted to make sure whoever we partnered with that I swore by it, mm. that we use the supplements, we use yeah. the brand, I use the tab app, um, and so. Super proud to have those two on board. Yeah. Let's get into round 21 preview. These odds are accurate as of the 19th of July from 6 p.m. from our friends, our partners at the tab. Uh, kicking it off with the St. George Illawarra Dragons, Mace at home, mm. $1.65. It's the only time they'll be favorites, I reckon, again, for the rest wow. of the year against the West Tigers, who are $2.25. The line is minus three and a half, the Dragons. I'll give you some of the news, Mace, as we go roll back up now. Um, the Dragons, fullback. Tyrell Sloan and hooker Jacob Little are both set to return after picking up injuries prior to the bye, while skipper Ben Hunt is also back after missing round 19 due to origin duties. Jack Bird returns from a knee complaint after two successful stints in New South Wales Cup and is good to go. West Tigers, David Nofaluma is back on the wing, having recovered from a shoulder injury. Dan Laurie is back in the sixth jersey, pushing Will Smith to reserves. Tell him to Silver, the young gun, keeps his spot on the bench and will partner up Carousel, who in their hooking rotation. Mace, how do you see this game? I'm just looking through the um, the Tigers pack and it's like they've been that – that's been been pretty consistent all year, hasn't it? They've had pretty good go forward, man. They've just struggled in yeah, the halves. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like like where have they really been like struggling? Defensively, obviously, and it's just the halves. They've got good outside backs. Yep. But can you just simply just blame the halves? That's how – and then I think, I think you can because that's how important halves are to the game. Yep. Right now. That's why these – you know, a 33-year-old can demand 1.2 mil. Well, let's let's look at some examples. So the chat is that they're let's we'll get into this, right? Yeah. So the chat is that they're trying to get Aiden Caesar back from the UK yeah, from Super League. Signing. I think it'll be a great signing. So let's give you a few examples. Chad Townsend killed yep. it on the weekend for the Titans. Adam Reynolds destroyed you guys. My dog yep. of the week uh, for the Broncos in a lesser Broncos team yeah, no of weeks past. Uh, who was the other one? Daly Cherry Evans. Yeah, 34. 34 years old. 
raising the trophy, the shield for the for Origin. Even Ben Hunt is thirty three. Ben Hunt, he's easily their best player every week uh, for the Dragons, but it's not necessarily leading to success. So Sean Johnson. Shawnee Johnson was my other one. I yeah. was trying to think I had one more. Shawnee's form at the moment and how he has changed his game to that controlled half, almost like game manager, yeah. which is With a little sort bit, of if disrespectful. If you fucking disrespect me, I'll carve you up. Yeah. That's what it's good. That's what he did. He was trying to find himself the last couple of years, coming back from injury, all that kind of stuff like, do I game manage or do I take him on? Mm. And now he's found the perfect balance. He can, he can do both. If you slip up, you slide out on him, he's going to take you on. For That's sure. what we want to see. He scored like That's what I want to see. Like when you, like, if you, you show inside shoulders, I want him to take him on. Yeah. Last couple of years, he wasn't doing that. So that's like, and that's 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 his body sort of letting him down as well. Yeah, and look, I think we said this before. I don't mean to rub it into the kid, but um, Brendan Wakeham, if he's part of your squad, your backup, um, and he has to yeah. fill in every now and again, he has some moments, mate, where he's alright. But you just can't have a week in, week out. No. And they've got Dane Laurie in the six. Uh, interesting, Dane Laurie has been linked to heading back to the Panthers. That'll be good, right? Yeah, that'll I be good him. for him. Yeah. He had a good couple of years over there like, playing <coughs> fullback, but that Bullock kid, he's he's the he's the future. He's legit. And I'm not sure Dane Laurie what other positions he can play. He can play obviously he can just play anywhere in the back line, but like fullback looked like his position. Because mm. defensively he's not that he's not that good. Oh well, we just haven't seen it. And they just when you're yeah, a fullback, you don't you don't get to see it. So yeah, I'm I know interested exactly, to see how he's the reason the why he was fullback. You yeah. know what I mean? It's a different it's a whole different ball game in the front line. And the three man is the man who gets spotted up the most. Yep. In between the three and four, man, you're always trying to get him in tackles. There's a no, lot. There's up. a lot of traffic coming his way all the time, and wake him as well. But can so the regardless, dragons, sorry, can sorry. the dragons expose it though? I think so. Because mm. we've always been all right on the dragons. I've never really said, oh, they're they're a basket case. Yeah, because uh, because of the simple fact that they have been hunt. Who did they play Raiders last game, wasn't it? And they started going a little bit of run. Zach Lomax went and played a little bit yeah. of fullback, got more involved. I thought Teltoa Mono was probably the best. I the, I'm not interested in backing them at all as favourites though. Dollar sixty five, and I don't want any of the two twenty five either. Yeah, Punters I mean, I, I gamble George, responsibly yeah. on this game. Gamble responsibly, yes, yeah. big time. Maybe look for a couple of try scorers, even though I think it'll be a low scoring game. It'd be frustrating being in the middle, back to being in the middle in um, at the Tigers, and then you're working your ass off, and then they just go to the edge and they score. Check out this. Check out the forward packs: Stefano Utuikamano, Coruscant, yeah, Clamart, Papa Lee, Bateman, I'm Moore. At it. <laughs> now go over the Dragons: Molo, Little, Triple OG, Mudders, mm. Blake Laurie, Billy Third Burns. Degree Burns, yeah. Dan Russell, yeah. and JDB, Jack DeBellin. There's Fuck Tigers! Like who, they should just run, like they should be able to take care of that, right? But then you got Ben Hunt versus Brendan Wakeham, and that's where it evens out. Yeah, yeah. Dragons reluctantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with them. All right, moving over to Friday, the first game of Friday, the Wars, the Warriors. We will be visiting them in four or five weeks, but Friday night they are playing Canberra Raiders, and I tell you what, Canberra Raiders would love some redemption in this game, Mace. Mm. Warriors are dollar forty favorites. From our friends, our partners at the tab, the Canberra Raiders are three dollars. The line is minus seven and a half, dollar uh, eighty five. So there's been money for the Warriors at that line. Um, people are staying away from the Canberra Raiders, traveling to Warriors who are in red hot mm. nick. Um, moving on to no changes expected for the Warriors. Marta Niakota returns from suspension, and Bunty Ofoa is back after missing round twenty with concussion. Mitch Barnett and Tom Ale move to the bench, and Josh Curran and Bailey Siren make way. Yes, it's, Mudders Curran just Curran can't was keep, playing. He was playing good. He can't hold his spot, eh? Um, and that shows how much depth they got. Yeah, it does. That's it does. scary. It does because I'm pretty sure Curran could fit into a, into a lot of NRL 17s at the moment. Yeah, it must just be something around his maybe discipline and training. Like we joked was around it, a little bit about the mutters, but was probably it two years ago we we're talking like we were talking about for Origin. Freddie at the start of last year was talking about him being in Origin, like as in like in contention, they're watching. Yeah, like someone they're like watching. He's in the, like they're looking at him. That's mm. fucking awesome. Josh Papali'i, Corey Horsbra, Pasami Sol- Solo, Salo, Solo. Solo. Solo are all back Solo. on deck and expected to play. Ata Mariota goes back to the bench after playing prop right, in round nine. So do I. Papa Lee was telling me about him uh, at the start of the year. Uh, Mace, do the Warriors <laughs> keep going? One, I know, man. The Raiders are I know Canberra. Too. I know Canberra, they don't really care about travelling. They, they'll try and get the job done here, but I trust the Warriors, man. Mm, I so do. do I. And I rate them highly, and they've just got Bunty of Foa coming back and near Cordo. Like, he's just gotten stronger. They have got stronger. They get the luxury. Of, that's a very good bench, man. Dylan Walker, Mitch Barnett, Tom Ale, and Freddie Lussick. Freddie Lussick's been doing a good gig. 
It's good that he gives in. You need Egan to have a spell because he's slender as yeah. well. I think when they were trying to play Egan for 80 minutes, he was getting those gets, knocks, but, getting hey, concussed. They've got a big side too, Cameron. Mm. They'll, come, they'll be going at him. You're not going to be going straight at um, Fenua Blake or Foa. I don't think they're going to pump him though. No, this will be a good game. Because Canberra, remember Canberra had the ascendancy in that first time they played for Crocus 300 and they just didn't score. And then it was a bit like the Warriors and Warriors played South. They had all I'm that gonna, fucking momentum. I'm going to I'm gonna go Canberra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of redemption, exactly what you said. I just think that meant that mindset, Ricky Stewart, he's, 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 one of those, he's one of those coaches that can get you up for any game, any time, anywhere. Mm. And I just think the Warriors, you know, this is, this is a pretty even match game. I'm going to go the Warriors, but I can. I don't mind the seven and a half start. I think they're not. I don't think the Canberra Raiders are going to get blown out. I think they'll remember what happened. This will be Crows tight. Three hundred. Yeah, I think it'll be a close on the Warriors. Just get the job done. All right, moving on to the Rabbitohs versus the Broncos. <coughs> Pardon me. Some good football. South are a dollar sixty-two favorites against the Brisbane Broncos, who are two dollars thirty underdogs away, but. Still in the same state. This is played at Sunshine Coast, Mace. Oh. Ran into big slam and Sam Burgess on the way to the airport. Minus three and a half, dollar eighty five. Uh and so people were coming for South, even though it's still up in Queensland, plus three and a half. Obviously some big ends for South mm. Sydney with Latrell this- Mitt, the Ferraris out of the garage, baby. The what what does he call it? The Tari Atari, <laughs> Tari Ferrari. Tari Ferrari. <laughs> I love him. Um, He's looking fit, man. He is looking good. Campbell Graham is also back with him. Ooh, Dry Arrow is ooh. also back with him. As well as Cody Walker, Damien Cook, Keon Kalawamatangi, and Cameron Murray also return after missing round 19 on Origin Duty. Jeez, he got Ooh, some I stars like there. it. Well, Broncos have also <laughs> got some stars back as well. Reese Walsh is available after serving his suspension alongside alongside Representative Payne Haas, who missed uh, yeah. three to four weeks with the ankle injury. Um, Adam Reynolds is named to play despite uh, coming off in the last 10 minutes. I think that would have been more Risty. precautionary. Um, and Paddy Carrigan returns after being rested from his origin commitments. How do you see this one, mate? Far out. Who, who's a bigger inclusion to the team? Walsh or Trell? Right now. Because you know Trell's been out for seven weeks, seven, eight yeah. weeks. It's different. They've jagged the last couple. Uh, Reese has been that. He's that dude. Walsh. Let me think. Let me good think. good question, yeah. Let, let me think, think about it. Let me think. So I'm going to be disrespecting someone hard here. Not really. And they'll feel it too. They'll feel, <laughs> it. <laughs> they'll feel the disrespect. Um, I'll say Walshy for this yeah. reason. And there's a reason behind it. I think if both fully fit, then obviously the troll. That's the, that's the but um, when you have a guy like Walshy who misses games through suspension, that means he's been able to do everything that the team's been able to do. It's different when you troll and you come back and you're in rehab and you're, you're training on the sideline, you're setbacks, hitting the roller. Setbacks yeah. as well. So Walshy's been able to do all the field work. So for this game, for this moment right now, I think Walshy be served better mm. in this return in saying that. No disrespect to anyone. No, no. In saying that, Trell's coming back with a list of players with yeah. him. So and, and you know who's on it. I'm on Rab- right? I'm on Rabbitohs. You know who's on it. Reese Walsh. Mm. He's on it. Mm. And I would I would go with Trell simply because he just makes others better. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like That's he brings out the <clears throat> best in Cody Walker. You know what I mean? Like Alex Johnson. They all want to play. They all know the ball's coming out wide now. You know, Tane Milne. Everyone's gonna get the everyone's gonna get a fair share of the ball. It's different. Like no disrespect to to Taff. I think he did a great job holding it down. Yeah, he, he, um, she's shown that he deserves he's a spot. Probably, that's why he's still in the squad. Yep. Um, but just having Latrell just run out and just having that person in your team. So like GI, man. He's got that GI sort of swag. We talked about the Newcastle Knights with uh, Bradman Best and uh, Jacob Saifedi coming back with confidence. Yeah. Fuck me. The but, South Sydney South Sydney Rabbitohs combination, the reason they won. Cody Walker, Damien Cook, Keon Colon Montangi and Cam Murray were four of the best six players for – New South Wales? Yep. That back row is probably one of the best in the comp. Keon, Dry Arrow, Cam Murray. That's very yeah. well balanced. Yeah, it is. They're a very well balanced team. So. Yeah, I'm going south. I'm going south. You're south? Yep. I'm south as well. Simply because of the, what, the last game? Who's that, the, the last game? Did south give it give it to him? Yeah, pumped him. But, you know, there was no Ezra Man. No Pan Haas. And no. See, that's massive. Mm. That's massive. So, as I said, this time last year, they'll come forth. 
This is a big fucking statement game. I'm still going south. I just think because of the troll coming back, he looks fit as hell. <clears throat> and he's going to make a statement. I'm back. Do you remember this is the first time that they've seen each other since Walsh talked that shit about Queensland, uh, about yeah, New South Wales. That's what I'm well. saying. He's and on. Troll Mitt hit him with the shit. He's sh on Troll's list. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucking can't wait I for love this game. This. Can't wait for this game. We should get together and watch it. Yeah, fucking this, this, this is the one we should be doing the bloody... Yeah, 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 Companions Day. Do Thursday yeah. nights. Shout out to the Hello Sports Boys. We're going to be jumping back on a stream with the Hello Sports Boys this as well. But in about three or four weeks. Um, yeah, these are the sorts of games that I'd like. You know, I, I love, love sitting games. at home by myself at the moment. Yeah. love my family time. But I'd love to just get around the boys and go watch this game. Yeah, this is a good one. South West Brisbane, how good. All right, kicking off Super Saturday. Gold Coast Titans versus Sydney Roosters, $2.25. Underdogs mm. at home, the Gold Coast Titans against the lowly 14th place Sydney Roosters, dollar sixty-five. The line is minus three and a half. Can the Knights? Sorry, not the Knights. Can the Roosters bounce back, Mace? Because they are struggling at the minute. They Let are. me give you some of the news. Oh, this is big. That's why Skipper Tuna Sulmali will miss the next three games after taking an early guilty plea. What was for that a shoulder for? charge on Regan Campbell Gillard? That was the one off straight That's in the second great half. Great shot. That sucks, man. Far out. So Isaac Liu, I can understand the odds now. Isaac Liu will play prop. Aaron Clark starts at lock. Uh, AJ Brimson returns, though, to the number one jersey with Jaden Campbell dropping back to the bench, which mm. is – It's just a – He's got to be playing week in, week out footy. They've got – something's got to happen there yeah. for sure. They've got to figure out a way. Uh, however, the Sydney Roosters fullback returns as well. The return of the skipper after he was rested in round 20 means Joe Manu moves to the centres. Joseph Akuso Swali'i shifts back to the wing. Terrell May is the new face on the bench after Nafua White suffered an injury. Um, he's been going really good. I've watched a couple of New South Wales games as well. Terrell May has been playing well. Brendan Smith has been named on the bench but could move into the right into the run-on side in place of Terps getting on the Terps. Um, <laughs> so... Tino, I'm big so enough out. I'm so disappointed, yeah, with that. That's because you've got loading as I well. I can't back the Roosters, man. I can't I back them. I'm oh. going Titans. Titans had Tino and they had a bit – I mean, I know they have a if they had fair Tino bit to play lock. for. Have a look. I think they're on the same amount of points, 20 points each. Yep. Is that right? And, and still mathematically, they'll be still going, you know what, if we just get this one win – both the teams start, will be. We can start kicks. We can we can make it. We can make a little run. Yep. Both teams will be. I reckon. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're both on twenty. So that's what sucks, and that's what's going to be hard to pick. And I'm going to pick the Roosters. You going Roosters? I have faith in that system. I have faith in Robbo. Um, you know, they come out ready to play last week. Melbourne are just too good, and they can just fucking. Oh yeah, they're just too good, Melbourne. It's a strong lineup, eh? Yeah, but you look at it. Play to play, especially when Teddy's like, back. Why, why? You know, what's the excuse here? I don't know. It's not gelling. It's been saying it for. Do you know, they're going to come together. To, actually, look, I, I don't think I end up. Uh, uh, we, we must have moved on. We, we ended up getting um, going off on a tangent. I forgot to come back to it. Um, so, did we talk about how I thought like too many of the old boys um, have been there long enough now? Where the message we sort of said that. Yeah, let me. I want to clarify. Go, go. I want to clarify something. So, I still believe that a couple of these guys, right? Whether it be. Not necessarily – like anyone in – you can pick out of the number of James Tedesco, Luke Keery, Jared Rear Hargraves. Toops probably not as much. He's a winger. Um, out of those four Keery. guys – Is that Keery? Oh, yeah, Keery. Where I believe a Luke Keery would suit – and he probably doesn't want to hear this as well and he doesn't want to go. But I reckon Keery would suit you Bulldogs, mm. Tigers, Dragons. Like I think he's a – I think he, you know, where he can be the man, completely run the team, because this is just an an, an opinion, really. Like without any base, I don't know anyone really well enough at the Roosters to get any inside info or anything like. That, but you know how you just what could Trent Robinson teach Tedesco, Kiri, Toops, Hargraves that he hasn't taught him over the last yeah. eight years. Oh, so since he's been with him, right? That's Do you get point. my point with That's that? That's a good point. You know, like at what point can they – can he um, make them better players from where they are right now? It's almost like I think the Roosters would benefit from maybe moving on a couple of guys, keeping a couple of – because you never want to get rid of fucking like champion players that are one comp. No. Like you're not going to get rid of all of them. So maybe only keep one or two and then you go and you tell Joseph Manu, mm. Victor Radley, Brendan Smith – this is your team now. Yeah. This is your team. The vets are here to help you get through the process, um, but you simplify it by 
and then and then Robbo can get back to coaching again because mm. I, I, I just, you know they're it'd be hard as you this, said, I'm like, trying to I'm trying to say this is saying. respectful this is hard as yeah it'd be hard to coach and come up with new plays and everything yeah. like that right because everyone and has everyone has the same plays. It's just about executing them. Yes, and the message. Yeah, it's just like other messages. Is the message falling on deaf ears? Well, have they heard the same message over yeah, and over again? So like, many is, times. It, is it? Does it get boring sometimes? Mm. You know, and they've won a hell of a lot. Yeah, they're be the hard. best team in a decade. For the last decade, they've been the best team. You, you know, look, they've been successful as hell. Um, something's up. Like you know, something. And I know what that club's like. There's going to be some change there. You know, yeah, like, I, I don't know what you do with, with a Victor Radley. I don't think what they're doing right now is helping him play play better. I've never seen him down as much as this on, on confidence. Well, he's he's factored into as well. I think there's a number a number of things. The the mistakes that he's made defensively, for sure. Like he, he, when you was, say defensively, you mean hitting hard? Yeah. So like the, not, there have been a couple that have been like we've watched it because we're we're Radley mm, fans, right? And this yeah. is why I think we're trying to critique him in the right way. Where I love the way Radley. We, yeah. we the one that he hit was it Anzac Day, right? Where he hit someone clean as it was right on the chest, and he mm. got suspended. Yeah. I think he got suspended for it, and he got ten yeah. in the bin. And he's like, "What am I supposed to do?" And then he gets hit the yeah. exact same way. He just stands it, and it's and it's. He's grabbing his mouth and he's like, why isn't that happened to me? Yeah. So I think those uh, have – in those parts of the season have really played into where he's at now. And now, like like I said before, you've got – Can't put him on an edge. Got Nathan Brown playing in the you middle. Can't put him on an edge. You he can't should put be, Victor Radley on an edge. He should be playing through the middle. Start, now, the, Egan, start the butcher boys Egan butcher. and you put fucking yeah. Victor Radley there and you leave him there. Yeah. And if he goes out and gets suspended, that's on him. Yeah. You know, I don't and then think, you put Nathan you know, Brown. Then in there. you put Brown there. Yeah. So Brown should be playing off the bench. You know, yeah. he's not. I agree. There's, there's no better ball player than Victor Radley, and he needs to have that presence in the middle because other packs will be looking at that pack going, "Fuck!" They all have to ta- do is take care of Jared because mm. he's the only guy who's going to come after you. When you had Victor, you had like Lindsay, you had Jared. We're well, still know, in like, the pack. Yeah, I know that, but you're on an edge. Yeah. You can take him. Just run on the other side. Mm. You can take him out of the game defensively because he's not going to push anyone in. Yeah, and you've got to stay on you. You got to stay in your lanes. You know, back rolls are totally different than middles. Nathan Brown has that line speed, but he doesn't really hit anyone, right? He just does that. Yeah, that flick that chest like he doesn't dip his, his shoulder. Good, but yeah, you know, I like the intent. Yeah, you know, so that that'll get Correct. Um, Hargraves, and that'll get, get Lindsay you going. Up. Yeah, it'll yeah. go. Fuck, he's coming here because he can he can get you stepping the other way, and then Hargraves fucking fixes yes. you up. Yes. So that's the sort of guy. That's that's how they work. One comes from one angle, the other one comes from the other angle, and I bet Vic's sitting on that right edge going. Fucking, I want to kill someone. Give me some of that. You know, and hopefully he doesn't like have get that frustrated where he, he's in that sort of mood. And when you do run at him, he fucking just smashes you. That's a good point. He could be just getting all pent up on the edge, and then you know, by the time it gets to him, I don't know. I don't know. This is just something I just would not play him on an edge. He's so who two, you going? Roosters set. or Titans? Yeah, shit. Roosters, man. <laughs> I don't know. Roosters. I just this would be hard. I just like the roosters. I like the roosters. I'll tell you what. Just only because Tino. I tell you I what, if uh, if Mystic Mace isn't confident, then I'm not. This confident is one guy well. I, I can't. Pick I'm going tight. It's just purely because you're not confident. And because Tino's there. Yeah. All right, let's go. Move on to the Newcastle Knights at home against the Melbourne Storm. Oh yeah. The Newcastle Knights are three dollar forty underdogs. Dollar thirty two. The Melbourne Storm. Respectful. Yeah, but they're in good nick. The Storm as yeah. well. So uh, the line is plus nine and a half. People were coming again for the Melbourne Storm. At the minus nine and a half there, Mace. So mm. uh, as for the Knights, Dane Gago returns from a foot injury, mm-hmm. uh, which is big. That's amazing. Otherwise unchanged from last week. As for the Storm, Marion Seve returned from a jaw injury, jaw injury in Queensland Cup and is listed amongst the reserves. But apart from that um, – They look strong, man. Both teams got the full deck of cards, really. So. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going past Melbourne. Yeah. They just look – they look too good. They look strong. Xavier Coach is on another level. Remus Smith has been amazing for Outstanding. Him. Outstanding. Nick Meaney's been outstanding. Him Nick Meaney's a Newcastle boy, so he'd be looking at um, – That's true. He'd be uh, coming back there. Warbrick. He's not from uh, Macquarie? Just, no, no, no. Definitely not Tri boy. Uh, Justin Ollum. They're coming good, man. Yeah, this they is, are. This is the Smokey. Oh. Isn't it weird saying they're a Smokey to win the comp and it's yeah, Melbourne it Storm? Yeah, it is. They can win the comp. They can win the comp. This is scary. Yeah. Uh, Tui Kamakamitha's doing a good job. He just gets through a lot of work. Harry Grant's a different level. Tarek Sim Sims has finally got used to the Melbourne Storm system, yeah. right? Where he yeah. hasn't like getting used to playing that interchange role. Yep. Yeah. And Alec McDonald goes good. They've got a good bench. It looks Tell you what, man. I don't think the Storm will blow them out. I like the points. 
for this game. I like that. No, this will be competitive. Yeah, game. I think it'll be close. I think Melbourne win a close one. Because this is always a bit of a hatred game as well. Yeah, why do they hate each other? Because again? of um, when we played Melbourne, we played when Alex McKinnon oh, got injured. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's always yeah, that. In a bit the back. of feeling in there. Yeah, there's a lot of feeling yeah. in there. So um, I remember playing up there. We um, we had some really good wins against Melbourne when I was playing up there for Newcastle. Yeah. So a lot of it was driven you from that. You beat them to go the in semi, man. to the preliminary yeah. final, yeah. didn't you? And then you played the Roosters. You got yeah. beaten by the Roosters. Yeah. yeah, we're watching that game actually. But we had some real. Remember that um, they were beating us by two tries. We played them up at. Um, McDonald Stadium and Kurt Gidley had to kick the goal from the sideline yes, to win the game. Yes, that was one of the fucking highlights of my career. Yeah, that was a great game. That I've already I've got a photo of that in my um on my Instagram. In your, like yeah, when okay. Giz, the whole team is rushing towards Giz. We're down by two tries, right? I think no, ten points. Yeah. Had to kick it to win the game. Um, within like five or six minutes, we got two tries. Had to kick it from the sideline. Yeah. Saturday night in Newcastle, he kicks it, and all you see is kids go like that, and the whole team is rushing him. That was one of the best feelings I've ever had. You said, uh, you had a really good. Season, a good side, right? man. Yeah, yeah. We, had some, we had some good team up there. Yeah. That that really rattled us. Got a couple of OGs too, didn't that, we? Both yeah, Scott, Jeremy, you, Smith, Jeremy Smith, like Snowy, yeah. uh, like Bedsy was still playing. Kirk Danny Bediris, Mullows. Kirk Gidley. Um, um, Jared like Mullen. Jared Mullen. I'm trying Uate, to get, Uate, Uate was get, killing it. Yeah, Uate Darius was Boyd was killing it. Like he had a good year that year. Um, no, we had a really good team. Chris Houston. Chris Houston. Loved Houston. Good, good, great Loved bunch, great as a bunch of blokes, man. Yeah. Loved Houston as a player. It was tough. Totally different team. So Gags, Gags was in the team. Yep. Yeah, he was yeah, he was too. Man, he was a pup. Um, BJ what, what, if, what if Newcastle can pull this one off at home? Are they oh, it'd be like, fucking great. Yeah. And I think the little things like little memories like that, I think no. I don't think they've beaten them there since 2014, so it's nine years. They'd love to get this one, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. From where they were probably six five weeks, or six weeks yeah. ago. Six weeks ago I thought they were going to be Before Caelan Ponga made the decision us. to turn down uh, playing Origin, I think yep. they've really gone to another level. I think they can be really competitive. They have to play outstanding to beat the Storm, but yeah, you know, I just don't think the Storm are going to slip up. They're like every game. This they don't the give it to you, do you? You've got, give to beat you you've got to earn everything. You've got to, you've got to beat Melbourne. Melbourne don't beat themselves. Yep. All right, moving on to the Cowboys versus the Eels Saturday night at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. The Cowboys, speaking of inform, Cowboys, $1.43 Ooh. and deservedly Ooh. against Parramatta Eels, $2.85 who are missing Regan Campbell Gillard and Mike Acevo, four game suspensions each. What? Dish, 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 dish. What's Sevo get for? Uh, what you, what you shoulder mean? charge. He come in, he wedged in and hit. Either Phil Phil Hammy, or God, they need to get that right. Or eh? the yeah, yeah, he just missed it. It wasn't like no, I'm, it wasn't I'm not crazy, talking that like just like um, Tino's hit. Like, is that four weeks? Three weeks. It's a shoulder charge. No, he didn't try to use the things. I, look, three weeks is massive. Fucking great hit, but I'm just against the shoulder. I hate it, but it's shoulders to the head. I'm totally against. Yeah, and when it's like that, you fucking should just be one a, week. Just no, it should be a legal hit. That should be a legal hit. Well, it's not because they're getting rid of it. I know, but I know, if, I know, if, I know. If you still shoulder charge and you don't hit head, I reckon just the week. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, not, even, not even a week. Play on. Stop being a dumb cunt. Yeah. <laughs> You fucking shoulder charge. But like, like, he can't help it when he just goes boom and you go flying off me. He yeah. tried to wrap him up, but he went on his ass. Um, <laughs> as for the Kelvin, terrible boy, case. Oh, did I, actually, I don't know if I gave you the odds. Dollar forty three uh, about. Yes, I did actually. Dollar forty three about the Cowboys. Two dollars eighty five about the Paramount Eels from our friends, our partners at the tab. Ooh. No changes for the Cowboys, as expected, after playing limited minutes last week. However, I reckon Ruben Cotter starts at lock rather than Jake Granville, who was a late change. As for the Eels, like we said, Mike Sevo and Regan Campbell Gillard are not available. Therefore, uh, Wunga Blake or Hayes Dunster will come into the side with Bailey Simonson potentially shifting to the mm. wing. I could probably see more Dunster just going straight swap. Wunga Blake seems to be on the out of there for a while. Yeah. He's played in ages. Um, Is it Cowboys game, too man? good. They're both on 24, right? Yeah. This is going to mean a lot. Straight into the top eight. Cowboys up there. As I said, Big Reg is probably the form prop coming into this game. Played well in Origin. Four weeks. Played four weeks. pretty good again in the, in the yeah, Titans game. Yeah, I thought game. he was outstanding. Um, yeah, so fuck, this This will be it for the Cowboys. Straight in the eight and I don't think they'll ever slip again. Like I'm with you. I'm with you. Top eight. 15 of the best. Shout out to the iSports. Mm. Uh, Penrith versus the Bulldogs. Dollar two against your dogs, mate. Sorry for laughing, mate. I didn't see it until the last minute. I, didn't see I started it to giggle and then I realised I, I didn't see it either. 
<laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Uh, Panthers have missed five games, but there's a big in and there's a what big are we reason. Paying? 13 of the best, respectfully. That's unders. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. You said dollar two. I was just like, oh fuck, that's our game. I was because I was about to show because I was about to go <laughs> fucking dollar two, and they look over and they're like, oh fuck, they're playing the Bulldogs. Mm. But obviously, there's a big reason. Nathan Cleary mm. is returning. He was very close to playing yeah. against uh, the Dolphins, mace, as well as all of the Origin players: Stephen Crichton, Brian Toto, Liam Martin, and Isaiah Yo are also back. So scary. Team, um, man. As for your Bulldogs, Kyle Flanagan. Here we go. Um, Kyle Flanagan takes over at halfback from Toby Sexton, who's out with a head knock. Alamotti comes in the centres for third-degree yeah. burns. Braden um, of the Braden variety. Star back rower. Viliami Kikau is listed amongst the reserves. Ooh. Mace, that's exciting. Yeah. As well as Josh Adokar, who is getting close to coming back. So is he in the reserves as well? Yeah, oh, nice. I think so. They'll just um, they'll monitor him all week. And then, you know, they'll probably have to get through, through Friday's session. Yep which is D2, which is the most important session of the week. So if you don't do that two days before the game – remember two days before the game you used to have off? Yeah. So not now. That's one of the hardest sessions that they have. Okay. So you have to train I'm, that. You have to train that usually to even be considered for game for the game. I can sort of understand it. Yeah. That's yeah, good because they – because remember we used to have two days off before a game and then come into the captain's run and then just play? Yeah. So it wasn't really – you weren't really that focused. I yeah. thought – depends what team you're in, I suppose. Yeah, I, I like depends that. Depends what works for you. Um, so they'll have to get through that. Uh, like – I don't think, you know, Kicks has been out, I think it'd be 14, 15 weeks now. He's been ripping in at training, mm. like, for the last three weeks. So he'd be ready to go. Plus, it's his old team. Yeah. You know so is I mean? this the first time Penrith, uh, Luke, you just messaged us, is this the first time that Penrith played yes. Bulldogs with Serato yeah. as well? Yep. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So there'll be a bit, Kicks will a bit be of feeling in there. Kicks will play. Yeah. Kicks will play just no, without even, I haven't even asked you about yeah. it. I swear to God, I haven't. But just, nah. you're playing Penrith, he's going to play. Mm. Um, all right. It's, 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 nothing gets harder. Penrith out of Penrith, regardless of like just say if, if depends. Regardless of where you are on the table, it's fucking always hard. The line's super disrespectful. Twenty eight and a half. Mm. Can see it, why. Yeah. I, it, it, again, yeah, based off what happened to the Broncos last week yeah. for sure, and we all Penrith players coming back. Moving on to Cronulla versus Manly. Dollar thirty eight about the Sharks at home to the Manly mm. Seagulls who are three dollars ten. Wow. Um, why, yeah. why such long odds? For Yeah, that's a, I'm surprised by it as well. well I, I didn't I, mind the Eagles last week. Yeah, so did I. Back row, Teague Wilton will miss the match due to that knee injury we talked about at the start of the show, Mace. Yeah. Uh, his place will be taken by Jesse Cal Cohen. Cohen? Cal Cohen? I haven't heard of him before. I, I, he came off the bench last week, but I haven't heard the name pronounced properly. Skipper, Delph and Uka returns to suspension. Uh, which sees McInnes will revert back to the bench. Sifatelokai has been named on the bench. Damn. But no, he, I don't think he'll come into the side on, on game day. Um, if you're on the bench, you're on the bench. As for the ro former Rooster, Matt Lodge, will come off the bench for Manly uh, in his um, first game for the new club. And Dean Madison retains his place on the bench. Yeah, right. After scoring on debut, which killed my fucking Lodge. Is, Lodge is playing too, right? Eh? Yeah, Lodge is in the 17. So, um, Big bounce back from Cronulla? Could be. You expecting? Could be. Who's the right side centre? Four. For Manly. Is it um, Kohler? Uh, yeah, Kohler. Brad Parker's him and, on the um, left. Him and Olakwatu could be running like mm. a rough shot on that edge. Yeah, that Trindle. left edge was pretty, was well, pretty bad They've last dropped week. Moiser off the back of it now, so Braden Trimble comes into the – he'll come on And Talakai, so it's a whole new edge, right? Even yeah. Though, like, kind of Tracy. I like Tracy. So do I. Mm. So yeah, that I might, you might shut that down. He's so, still undersized though. He's not like a – he's um, just, just a goer. But he, you're going up against the goals of goals now. Yeah. He has the highest sports oh, boys, a fucking dog. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think with Fitzy and the system that they got there, they still believe in themselves. Yeah. Everyone's doubting them, and I just think they can get the job done. It's a Shark Park as well. So, yeah, I think this will be like, you know what, we, we still are that team. And what do you think about Manly? Can they get it done? I don't – yeah, I reckon you're fucking thinking so. I reckon because of that edge. I reckon the combination hasn't been there between – between uh, Trindle and fucking Connor Tracy mm. at all. Mm. They're not strong defenders. Mm. You get Ola Kawatu, you get Collar, fucking the juice, Garrick, Garrick around the back. Mm. They could be they could be coming in all the time. There's be a lot of space out the back. Yep. I or Chez with the little fake <clears throat> and over the top with the little fucking fan play out the back. Yep. Who's the right winger? Saab? 
Sabi. Sabi, just hold the paint. Hold the paint. Hold the paint. It could be top. some tries, man. Yep. I'm still going the Sharks, but I think okay, man, get some me. joy. Basically, a nice little quick up of the NRLW. You had the girls on at the start of the, start of the week with a nice little bonus episode. I'll give you a little bit of mail. I like Gold Coast Titans. They're playing at Newcastle, uh, North Queensland Cowboys, new franchise in yeah. the in the NRLW. I think Gold Coast Titans are a team that are going to – they're a good value. I think they're going to be good value all year. They've stacked – Sonny Bill Williams' sister, Niall Williams, is playing for oh, Gold really? Coast. She's come she's over from swell. the sevens as well. Yeah, she's in the centres. I like Gold Coast Titans against the Cowboys. Uh, and I like the minus six and a half as well. Newcastle versus St. George. St. George Illawarra is a tough one. Um, Newcastle, they won the competition last year. As for St. George Illawarra, Sally lost a heap of their players. I'm leaning Newcastle. Eight and a half is a bit much, but I'm leaning Newcastle for the win. Uh, as for our guests who come on, Taryn Aiken, she leaves the Brisbane Broncos to go to the Sydney Roosters and they play each other in round one. Got to be Sydney Roosters. They're stacked. Uh, Brisbane Broncos got a really good team as well. So this is going to be probably the the best game of the round for the NRLW. Um, that's on all the all the games you can find on Nine HD too, as well for the girls. So every single game, every single all game live. is televised. Yeah, they're all live and televised. Yep. Man. Um, uh, moving on to Parramatta versus West Tigers. These two teams could struggle this year. Um, one of our guests, Tiana Panatani, she's no longer at Parramatta Eels, and they lost a few p- players as well. Um, and West Tigers are a new club, uh, and they could struggle this year. So I'm going to go Parramatta at $1.42. Uh, as for the last game, this will probably be the second best game of the round, I think. Cronulla versus Canberra. Canberra have recruited pretty well. Cronulla, uh, I'm pretty high on them. Sorry, Canberra new? Canberra's new? Cambridge new as well. Yeah. yeah. But they, they signed some pretty good vets. Um, and Cronulla, I think, will be good. Tonegato moves to fullback to six. And remember that little Jada Taylor that we've seen at the um, yeah. at the airport? She's she's like the little young gun pocket rocket 19, 20 year old for Cronulla at fullback. So I'd Cronulla will be, be in good this year. this time of the year. Yeah. If you're in the new teams, oh, God. Yeah, it's going to be game on. So those are my tips. I'm on Cronulla. Uh, quickly go through them against all the favourites. The so Gold Coast, Newcastle, Roosters, Parramatta. I think all the favourites get the job done, just whether you want to go to the start on a lot of them. All right, let's get into chasing the Grateful Eight. So last week I hit five from eight. I'm telling you, I'm mm. starting to get in a little bit of form. Let's kick it off. St. George or Dragons versus West Tigers. When you look at this game, who's the most reliable player out there? Ben Hunt, three dollars yeah. anytime jam. He's going to have the ball in his hands. Plus, he's had a couple of off games of late, so I'm looking for a big bounce back. We talked about him before. Warriors at home against Canberra Raiders. I think the Warriors are going to try power through the middle with that mm. game. Uh, he scored against them, I believe, in Canberra as well. We're on Wade Egan at three dollars yeah, thirty. Nice. South West Brisbane. I'm going a little bit left out field, left the field here. Uh, someone with a bit of value. I think uh, this is a game that. Uh, South Sydney also want to play through the middle. They want to play nice and aggressive. I'm going to go Cameron Murray at $5, close to the line, a little burrowing, duck, ducking underneath, a little barge over try. As for the Gold Coast for Sydney Roosters, that right edge was in dramas. Wes is all last week. Xavier Coates, three mm. tries. You know, scores tries for fun. Yeah. Cam Pereira for the Gold Coast Titans, $1.95. King Khan. Moving on to the Newcastle Knights versus Melbourne Storm. Had a bit of a quiet one last week. He was just putting the tries on for Coates. I think he scores one for himself this week. We're going Cameron Money Munster. What do you do to his knee? Sorry. It's Nothing. stitches on his knee? It's oh, did he? Knee. Yeah, big bandage last nah, week. He's, right. he's a tough guy. <laughs> uh, moving on to North Queensland Cowboys against the Parramatta Eels. I've got Tommy Dearden. I think yeah. he can gain one of those little duck and barge sort of tries. He's fucking underrated strong. He's, he's a lot of shrugging off, doesn't he? He's almost got like that Cam Munster. Mongo, Mongo strength, strength, man. Yeah. yeah. I see yeah. him a lot. He gets, doesn't get tackled a lot. Doesn't get tackled hard. Um, speaking of guys that, you know, a little stocky halves, moving on to Penrith versus the Bulldogs, the return of the Prince. Mm. The Prince is back. And mm. Bulldogs struggle with half scoring against them as well. So I'm going Nathan Cleary at yeah. $3 is good value for the That's skipper good. to come back and score. We talked about him in our preview of this game as well. They're going to have some dramas on that left edge, and I think it's going to come in the yeah. form of Hamola Alokawatu at $3.30. That is good value for Big Schmoll who let us down yes, last week. Us. As for our Levels Punters, Bet's Friends Channel Special, I'm going this week – I'm going something a little bit different, mate. So, right. going. I think I've been trying to play it too safe. I want to put. I want to give. I think when Get I do my there. best work, 
I'm creating a bit of jam. I'm creating a bit of value. I've been trying to go the safer sort of plays, but when you've only got a max bet of $25 because you're gambling responsibly, I feel like I'm going to go a little bit more value this week. So let's go. Right. My bird gang, I talked about him before. I believe more in Manly in this game than I do in Cronulla Sharks in their form, their recent form. So let's go Manly head-to-head, not even with the points, head-to-head, $3.10 into Tommy nice. Dearden to score in the first 60 minutes. I think Tommy Dearden and the Cowboys are going to score uh, early and often. So let's get Tommy Dearden to score in the first 60 minutes. You can get that for $13, like I said, from our traders at the tab with a max bet of $25. Moving on to five of the best. I'm going to do some try scorers for the girls as well. This is where I do my best work. Gosh, you know this. Yes. This is where there's some jam to be made. I, I, I'm if all, you're a punter, listen up. Listen up right? now. Listen because up. Because I think this is where I'll, I'll be, end up hitting more of these than I will on the men for sure. Only five of the best two. Uh, Gold Coast Titans, North Queensland. I like the Gold Coast Titans. I like Eviana Politi, the fullback for the Titans. Uh, it would be – oh, the second game is Newcastle Knights versus St. George Illawarra Dragons. She scores for fun. She's the skipper. Tamika Upton, $2.30. Yeah. We had her on the show, Brisbane vs. Sydney Roosters. I – I think I'm, I'm finding it hard that the Brisbane Broncos are going to let Taron Aiken score, but if they do, we've got great value at $4.50. As for the Parramatta Eels versus the West Tigers, uh, I really like this young up-and-comer, Zali Faye. She plays on the wing for the Parramatta Eels. Um, I think she's going to score a heap of tries this year, so you can get the value of $2.60. I'm going to take that. And our other guess, it'd be rude not to, week one, that we don't go both our guests, Cronulla versus Canberra, Tiana Penitani, the skipper for the Cronulla Sharks, in the centres at $3.10. And as always, mates, we want everyone to be playing safe during this footy season. So please keep front of mind, what are you really gambling with? And if you need free and confidential support, call 1-800-858-858 or visit gamblinghelponline.org.au. And remember, you can find all our current LPC bets under the Bets Friends banner on the Tab app. Come and look for us, Mace. Mm. I'm really looking forward to this. The NRLW season yeah. is amongst us. NRL playoffs, I believe, have started early. Some really good footy on the weekend. I have... 15 games to watch now. So I've got some footy to watch. I'm looking forward to it. Going to sit on the couch, kick the hey. feet up. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch 15. Yeah. Well, you, you just let, me, gonna, you let like, me take care of the girls. I'll, I'll report for the girls on us every week. Um, every now and that's again. That's a lot of footy, eh? Yeah, chuck, chuck it. Oh, actually, not 15. Because so I don't have Channel 9. eight games. Sorry. I don't have Channel 9. Games. But I don't have Channel 9. I'll, I'll watch it on KO if it's on KO. Even do I, but I have the um, – oh, what's the – the app, yeah, I've got the apps. Yeah, I don't have the fucking app. Yeah, I've got the Kezies. You got the <laughs> Kezies. Yeah, I need the Kezies. Yeah, what a great way to finish. Uh, see you. Enjoy your footy on the weekend. Thanks for joining us on the preview. And the wires were coming. Get ready. Happy punning. <laughs>